Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is December 22nd, 2022, 11.38 a.m. Um, so before I start, I just want to say um, thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and liking, commenting to my channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, it, it's, it's wonderful to know that uh, my words i guess are giving you all clarity and guidance and it's um helpful and i guess in a way so thank you um for your support um uh, so that's cool of you all um just a reminder though that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay if they resonate with you gives you clarity great if it doesn't that's okay right um and now I will start off with my prayer of protection. I pray to God and call upon Archangel Michael and any ancestors, angels, and spirits of the highest white light that love me unconditionally to continue to protect me and my family during this time. Please help us see things clearly and to help us remove the fog of illusion that has led us down a false path in the past. Amen. Um... I did have a couple dreams, but I'm, I'm still trying to work through them for the most part. Um, I will share in one of the dreams that I had, um, I think it was like last week, there was glass in the dream, okay? Um, you know what? Let me just bring it out now while I'm here talking about it. Um... This dream, I'm not going to talk about the whole dream because my dreams are getting longer and longer and uh, at this point, I, it's just too much to write, um, so I just write what I can. Okay, dokey. okay, I'm like, I should have been a little bit more prepared, but whatever. Okay, um, that's about the airport. That's, okay, cool. This is, um, that's about the hands. Oh, glass. Okay, yeah, uh, so I'm just going to talk about, like, the important part. I, I mean, it's all really important, but whatever. Um, so I had this dream December 11th. Excuse me, excuse me. I, if I did talk about this, I'm bringing this up again for a reason. All right. Um, also, um, you know what? There's this song that I feel like you should listen to. Only if you want to um, listen to Empire of the Sun, Ways to Go. Okay. Um, I'll probably put that in the description box of this video. I'll try to. Um, so I was riding my bike, feeling good and happy, and I saw a clear, like I was, I don't know, it was like I was like in one of my childhood um, neighborhoods, I guess you could say. I was riding my bike down my childhood neighborhood street, and I, I was, you know feeling great, happy. I was like uh, feeling ecstatic. I was like a kid, you know, when you're a kid, you're carefree, you're happy, you know, there's like limited stress in your life, right? Uh, so I was riding down the street and I was riding my bike. And then in the middle of the street, by the way, there are cars, like the cars are going wherever the cars are going and like their directions, right? Um, but let me try to draw this out for you. So I'm going down this street and then there's a street here where this candle is. And then there's another street here where this crystal is, right? And then like right in the middle, like the intersection, right in the middle was like a pile of broken glass. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, maybe I should go clear up that broken glass. You know, I was, I was, cause I was like getting closer and closer to the broken glass, right? And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I should clear that up because somebody could get hurt, right? But then I was thinking to myself, too, like, as I was thinking that, I was simultaneously thinking, like, but that's not my broken glass. I'm not going to touch it. So I just literally uh, rode past the broken glass. 
But the entire time, I was thinking about this broken glass in the middle of the street. I was like, somebody should really pick up that broken glass. Like, I wonder whose broken glass that is. Somebody should really pick it up. But nothing inside of me, like, after that first initial thought, nothing inside of me was like, you should go pick it up. You should go pick it up. Nothing was saying that. Um, so I'm getting the feeling that, <laughs> uh, and if I did talk about this, I'm talking about it again, um, for a reason. So I'm getting the feeling that somebody is, oh. <laughs> careful, please. Literally, um, making, um, messes, but these messes are dangerous. Okay. They're messes to where. When people get involved, they're going to get hurt. When you touch broken glass with your bare hands, almost always you will get cut, right? Somebody is creating a mess. So when other people are getting involved, they're intentionally getting hurt, right? Whether they intend to them for them to get hurt or not, it's kind of like, um, I don't even know how to explain it because now it's just getting a little deeper. Um, I don't know. Someone has a bunch of mess and they want you the collective to clean it up for them but the thing is you're almost likely like 99 percent, you're gonna get hurt all right because you're expected to clean this up with bare hands if that makes sense um anyways i'm gonna cut that there so I just don't feel like that's your mess to clean up. And if you do decide to clean up that mess, know that you are going to get cut. You are going to get hurt, all right? Because one, that glass is not for you. And two, you know, somebody is expecting you to clean up that glass with bare hands. And the thing is too, what's really striking is that if you notice, I said that I was riding my bike carefully, uh, carefree like a child. I'm being happy with like no stress in my life. And then, boom, someone tried to um, put a pile of broken glass in the middle of my path for me to clean up. And I was like, well, you know, maybe I should. But then I was like, nah, I'm not going to clean it up. I'm just going to keep riding my bike and being happy. And I did that. And I felt really good about it. I feel like somebody is trying to deliberately put something in your path that's going to really mess you up. Um, and this, this isn't even, it's not your glass to pick up. All right, you could be in a really good place in your life right now and somebody just wants to like, they're just mad. They're like, all right, well, I'm going to do something to hurt them. And the thing is, you could have good intentions because I was like, maybe I should pick up that glass. Someone could get hurt, right? That's the intention. That's the reason why it was put there, right? That's like the bait. It's like a bait. You know, um, like, you know, uh, in scary movies when someone's like, oh, I need help, I need help. And then that's the bait. So when you go help them, you get trapped or you get, you know, kidnapped or something like that, whatever, right? It's a bait. This broken glass is bait. Someone's trying to bait you. And your good intentions are going to be overshadowed by the outcome of your good intentions. And I know it's really messed up because you just want to help people. You just want to, you know, do good and... Um, you know, be kind and generous and you're in a position where you can help. But the thing is, um, you cannot help everyone. I said, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Um, this is exactly why I decided to use this deck. Um, you okay? So on the bottom of the deck, we have silence. Uh, there is a sweet embrace in the nothingness that stillness brings, a presence of self full and body. This is you, all right? This is what you need to be doing, all right? If you see like that broken, like in my dream, I saw it, but I didn't say anything out loud. It was all in my head. I'm like, well, maybe I should pick it up, right? But then I just kept riding my bike past it. I'm like, well, that's not really my broken glass. That's not really my problem or that's not my issue I'm just gonna keep riding my bike and continue to be happy and enjoy my life and I did and I felt really good about it right um not everything needs a reaction I feel like that glass is bait um not everyone and not everything needs your reaction you don't have to help everyone you don't need to respond to anything 
or to everything. You don't need to react to everything. Sometimes silence is power. But here we have spider. What a wild web we weave, dear child. A delicious mystery untamed. Somebody's definitely, I, you know what? There are two videos. Um, actually, no, it's one video where I talked about a spider. Um, I had a dream where I was like walking, all right, going towards, I was in one dark room going in towards another room that was lit up. And a spider had dropped in front of my face from its web, and it was about to build a web right in front of my face, and I just kind of swat it. Like, eh, you know what I mean? Just like, okay, bye. And I just kept walking towards the lit room. Um, somebody is definitely trying to... They couldn't do it with the spider. They couldn't do it with the broken glass. Somebody's really trying to bait the collective um, into doing something, into being involved in something that's only going to harm the collective, Right? And they're going to use this um, because they feel like your good intentions are too good to not help somebody. Um, it could be a group of people or it could be a person. And they're really banking on your kind nature, your good intentions, your sweetheart, all that. They're really trying to pull on your heartstrings so that way you get entangled in this web. A delicious mystery untamed. Delicious mystery untamed. Mystery untamed. Delicious mystery. Whatever this is, it's the people that are doing this to you or this person. They love hiding in the shadows. They love it. They get a thrill out of it. It feels good to them. Untamed. This person's out of control. They're out of control. Um, at this point, they're in a point in, in their life, it's kind of like, well, I've lost everything. What else do I have to lose? So that they're, what a wild web we weave. Dear child. This person, um, their inner child is suffering. They're suffering really, really bad. And they're, it's like they're in rock bottom. So, you know, it's like, I lost everything. What else do I have to lose? So that's why they're trying to bait you into something or put you in a lie or put you in some sort of drama or bait you into something that has nothing to do with you, but it's really all a reflection of their life. That's what's going inside and what's going on inside of them. Um, I'm going to get uh, one of these. Yeah. Hi, what is this? Angels and Demons. My daughter just handed me this book, Angels and Demons. Um, yeah, this, I mean, <laughs> uh, not to be, you know, cliche, but we literally are, like, in a spiritual war. So, uh, I'm just gonna put that over here. Thank you for the book. I'm gonna put this over here. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of these. Essentially, you guys, there are, um, they're the main, I don't know, I guess the main player is essentially a spider, or it's a, a woman who is just very wicked, and, um, she just likes to mess with her prey and eat her prey, she doesn't care for anybody but herself. There's something really um, heavy about spiders here. Mm. 
You were meant to shine. The letter H could be somebody's first, last middle initial, or a word. I feel like um, this person is like walking in their hell. Like they're consumed by it right now. Um, they can't see anything past this. Um, attacking your throat chakra. Um, when your throat chakra is unbalanced, you are shy. Um, this person doesn't like how confident you, um, confident you have become, all right? Um, you become arrogant, anxious, you tend to lie, you have a lack of creativity, but when it's balanced, um, you're able to communicate, all right? Um, you're able to express yourself, become a service to God, to your your friends, your family, your community, and you have a habit of telling truths. Um, I feel like you're telling a lot of truths and um, maybe unbeknownst to you, but whatever truths you're speaking of, it's um, outing this person, all right? There's really something about a spider here. Um, I'm, there's something about a spy i cannot let it go um like their personality is like a spider like um like a black widow this person could be a black widow like they just marry people for money and they just like off them um but they may not even off them they just marry people for money you know uh, if they're not happy you're not happy or something like that oh boy excuse me excuse me I don't think so. Thank you. Alrighty. You know, it'll, it's in my, if it doesn't come to me now, it'll come to me later about the spider. Because there's nothing very particular um, about a spider. Wow, battle. And the card on the bottom of the deck is a luck reverse. I feel like whoever this woman, this spider is, for some of you it could be a masculine, right? But um, whoever this spider is, they're very unlucky in their life right now. They're literally living in their hell, um, and they're mad about that. They don't see it as um, divine justice. They don't see it. They see it as an injustice. I don't know. Whoever this person is, they want to... Um, they're mad because you're not taking the bait. So because they haven't been able to trick you in any other way, um, either um, by dreams or third parties or you know projection or um energy third parties i don't know if i said that sorry um this person they want they, they're trying to shrink you down into like a little ball of nothing they to them it's like you've gotten so big so confident so um happy so i don't know handsome beautiful successful you're getting way too big for them in their eyes and because everything that they've tried to do, all the baits that they tried to set out for you, all the traps, it's not working. So their last, it's kind of like their last effort is they're going to want to come towards you and actually like fight you or put hands on you or, you know, do something physical. I feel like this person really has, um, they really want to get physical with you in a negative way. Like they want to put hands on you. It's like they're so mad. That nothing else is working. It's like the only way that it will make them feel better is if they're able to like physically defeat you. But little do they know, it's not gonna work. You have a whole team, a whole like they don't see that. At this point, they're like they're all they're only seeing red. There's a lot of hate in their eyes, H. They have a lot of hate in their eyes.
Okay, I am back. I had to make a smoothie for my daughter. <laughs> um, what else? Where am I? Yeah, battle. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm going to get a couple more of these first. Um, okay, so I'm going to get some of these. Put some of these back there. Mm-hmm. All right, we have the letter W. Could be somebody's first, last, middle, and the initial. Um, I'm going to get back to this W. Oh. Yeah, it could be somebody's first, last, middle, and initial old word, but I'm hearing, like, wander. This person is, like, like living in hell and they're just wandering like they're just like a wandering soul at this point this person's lost like they lost their soul let's say they want to come fight you for your soul um, this person is a, an idiot. You lost your soul, so now you want to fight somebody who still has your soul for their soul? That doesn't make any sense. What makes you think that you're going to be able to even obtain someone else's soul? Not only that, but this soul is, your soul is protected, collective. The audacity of some people, my goodness. Um, they're repeating cycles, right? This person is repeating cycles. Um, we have Sagittarius here. This could be somebody's uh, or your sign, or you could be a fire sign. It's 12, 12 p.m. right now. I feel like um, this is really, I mean, anybody could be a Sagittarius, but this is really more about your uh, ninth house. Um, who was a Chiron? He was the centaur, and he was very wise. Um, people went, went went to him for advice and wisdom. He was very um, knowledgeable, very spiritual. I feel like this is you collective. This is where you are right now. Um, you're no longer a wandering soul. This person is really mad. They're heated. They have hatred in their heart. Um, they want to come towards you, you know, as, I don't know, they could want to physically assault you or something. But, um... They're just mad because they're constantly repeating cycles. And it's like... They're repeating cycles and they're mad. I keep saying that. This is like literally this person. They're just getting mad because they're repeating cycles. And they're repeating cycles because they're getting mad. They're stuck in a paradox that they created for themselves. This is the paradox that they want you to be in. This is why they keep trying to bait you. Right? They keep trying to bait you into repeating things either for them or with them but you're you're too smart you're smart girl you're, you're too smart to do this wow i'm really having trouble speaking lately you're smarter than this and there it, it makes them mad because you're not meant to repeat cycles you're meant to shine this person's really trying to um yeah they're really trying to block your throat chakra so you can't talk like I said, I've been having trouble speaking like the, my past couple of videos. So I have to like force my words to come out. So if you're having trouble speaking, it's because your truth is really um, illuminating who this person really is, which is a spider. All right. This is a spider you're dealing with. And not the fuzzy tarantula kinds. No, this is a black widow. This is someone who's all pretty on the outside, but on the inside, they're just rotten and nasty. 
again, that brings me back to this one gym I had um, about this girl who had a tumbler. And the outside, it was nice. It looked clean. But on the inside, it was, like, dirty. I'm like, are you going to... I was thinking to myself, I'm like, is she going to clean this before she uses it? The fool in reverse. Yeah, this person wants you to take a risk. All right. They're trying to bait you. This is this is the risk that they want you to take. All right. With all this baiting going on. Because if you take this risk, they got you. All right. You're in their web. You're stuck in their web. They got you in their net. They got themselves stuck into something. Or they made a deal with something. Or someone. They're stuck into in something. And it's making their life legit like hell. Right? It's like they lost their soul. Whatever they did. And they're mad. So now they're trying to drag you into their hell. They took the biggest risk that they can with their soul. And now they want you to do the same. Ten of Wands, but it felt like that. Wow, this person's super uber burdened. They're really, really burdened. They're trying to figure out a way how to make you burdened. It's like, well, I'm burdened with my life. How can I get the collective to be burdened as well with me? Because I don't want to be burdened alone. Misery loves company, again. Knight of Wands. Judgment. I feel like you're making drastic, drastic changes in your life. And the more changes that you make in your life, the harder it is for this person to um, trap you in their web. It's like literally you see how this angel is holding the compass. Your angels are literally guiding you to where you need to go. Some of you could be moving. All right. You guys could be moving somewhere. Maybe you could be going somewhere over the ocean or over a body of water. It could be a lake. Maybe you're moving across the lake somewhere. Or, you know, an ocean. Right? But I feel like wherever you're moving to, you know, this could even be spiritually. You're you're moving spiritually. Uh, you're moving mentally. You're moving emotionally. You're moving within you. It may not even have to be like a, a physical move, but you're definitely moving, all right, with your, your spiritual journey. And I feel like from the distant horizon, I, really, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm getting a lot from this card. Um, you see, this is the, the ship, right? And then these little tiny black dots, those are other ships in the horizon. I feel like people, um, they see you doing this move and they want to be able to move with you, but they don't know how because they're, they still have to clear the fog in their life. All right. And within them. So you do have, you're inspiring people, but they really can't get to where you're going because they still have a lot of work to do within them. Not saying that you don't have work to do because the work is like never really done. But where you are, your pathway is much more clear to where the angels, like you can literally see the angels with their compass, right? Versus them, it's still pretty foggy. But you've done enough to the point where angels can guide you now, right? Where, or not even just that, but where you can literally see where you have to go because the fog has been cleared. Um, and the more, uh, this, it's making this person mad. It's, it, it, they're, they're very hateful because... Um, you're just, you're moving so far away from them. They can't add this extra burden on top of you. It's like they have two burdens and they want to drop one of them and give you one of them and they can't do that. Like, there's literally a separation right here. They can't, you know. Something about an iron touch. Um, oh my gosh. Um, there's something hot. There's something very, very hot. It could be uh, like your touch is hot. This could be like really sensual. Like if you have a partner, like, or you're always just, you're always warm or you like being warm all the time. Or you love being like wrapped up in blankets or something. Or like you, you, you don't like the cold. 
all right but there's something about like your your touch is warm oh it's like your healing touch that's what it is it's your healing touch all right literally anything you touch you can heal that's what i mean about your your touch is warm it, it makes people feel good when you touch people they feel so warm so calm so comforting it's very peaceful when you touch people all right you have that ability Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please. Oh, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're taking a lot of action towards your life. Knight of Swords. I feel like this isn't you. Not all of it is you. This Knight of Swords, not all of this Knight of Swords is you. I feel like this is, has to do with the bait that this person is trying to trap you in. Um, they're trying to make sure that all the actions that you take, you become burdened by your own actions. You become stuck in your head so you don't take action. But you are taking action. You're very committed to whatever it is that you're doing. You're very committed to it. it is, you're, that's because you're following the angel, all right? You're doing the work. You're, you're, doing, you're taking so much action, 1221, right now. You're taking so much action in your life right now. That it's causing this person burden and it's making them stuck in their head. They want you to be stuck in your head so that way you don't take action. Because this really is like about action, right? Um, God helps those who helps themselves. And by doing that, you have to take action. All right, that last part wasn't in the Bible about action. But you have to you have to do it. You have to be, you know, do the work. You're doing the work. This person wants you to be confused and all up in your head about doing the work. Like, should I be doing this? Should I be doing this? So be careful. If you start doubting yourself, um, try to backtrack. Okay, why am I doubting myself? What's bringing this feeling? What's going on? Where is this coming from? Right? When, like, 10 minutes ago, you were just, really, like, really happy and, you know, living your life. 1222. Hold on. I'm back. I think I'm going to do one more and then I'll try to clarify them and then I'll call it. Five of Wands. <laughs> yeah, we got the Five of Wands and Battle. It's essentially the same thing in my eyes. Take a look. Battle, five of wands, five, battle, five, five of wands, five, five. This person wants to cause chaos into your life. Um, there's change happening all around in your life and in their life, all right? The change is for the worse for them and the change is the better for you. Um, but the change that they're trying to cause in your life is by involving you in this ten of wands. Right? They want you to be repeating cycles because they're stuck. They can't do anything but repeat cycles. They're wandering. They're a wandering soul at this point. They're thinking, how can I get the collective involved in this? How can I bait the collective into taking on my burdens? Right, That's what they want you to do. They want you to take on their burdens. If you haven't watched my one video of um, they want you to carry their bags up the mountain, but you already carried yours, Watch that video because I feel like this is an extension of that video. All right. Hold on. It'd be funny if one more five came out, right? Tell me about this five of wands. Two of wands. They're stuck. They're like, why is my plan not working? How? What can I do to create more conflict and chaos and drama into the collective's lives? Because my plans have not been working. So what can I do? What can I do? 
because you are the high priestess. You know what's going on. You see it. You see it. You see it. You feel it. You hear it. You smell it. Like, I feel like if this person was in front of you, you can literally smell like, like this person is just like rotten. Like, um, they smell like moldy towels. Like, that's how this person smells, like moldy towel. Ace of Pentacles, reverse. This person's losing everything in their life. They're losing everything. They're losing money. They're losing love. They're losing friends. They're losing jobs. They're losing homes, cars, time. All right. They're losing faith. They're losing power. They're losing everything that you can think of. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Right? What you have here, um, first of all, you're dealing with someone who is very much a gold digger who has nothing who is repeating cycles, tries to bait you and to take it on their burdens, but because it's not working, they're getting mad. So now their last attempt is to come uh, to come try and come towards you to like, um, and be careful because they're going to want to come towards you. So that way, if you physically put your hands on them, they're going to, they're going to be like, they're going to call the cops and be like, I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted. Right. Be careful because that's like their last plan right now. Well, I haven't, everything I've done hasn't worked, so my best bet is to, you know, bait the collective into hitting me or to putting their hands on me. Also, um, be careful because if this person is pregnant um, and they're not saying anything, there's a reason for that, all right? If they are hiding a pregnancy, they're not saying anything because their plan is to get you to put your hands onto them. I've been getting this for months. Their plan is to get you to put your hands onto them so that when, when they call the cops, they can be like, oh yeah, I'm pregnant and I've been assaulted. That's the plan. So be careful because they have, like I said, at this point, they have nothing to lose, right? This pregnancy that they have, they don't even care about it, but they're going to be using it to their advantage, right? And that's another reason why they're a wandering soul. That's why she has nothing. Time to break free on the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to clarify a couple of things. I've been, because I, there's a card I have. It's called Secret Pregnancy, and it has been coming up for a couple months, right? And I've been trying to figure it out. That goes two ways. The collective, you guys actually have a secret pregnancy. It's a gift, right? A gift of the divine. This person is also secretly pregnant and they're hiding it because they're going to use it to their advantage. Oh, I've been assaulted and I'm pregnant. This is a wicked woman. <laughs> Look at the car that blew up. Spiritual lessons. This is a spiritual lesson for you and for this person, but they're not understanding it. That's why they're repeating this. Um, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. I feel like this is a bright idea. Like, she's like, oh, I got the best idea in the world. I know exactly what I'm going to do. This is going to be my idea. Um, Nine of Wands, or Nine of Swords, please. This is like, um, she's crying wolf right now. She's going to use a secret pregnancy to cry. Uh, I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted. Right? I feel like that's going to be the title of my video. Seven of cups and eight of cups. I don't know. I, this woman, she's like in some sort of like um, delusion right now. 
It's like she's not, it's, it's not clicking to her why people are walking away from her. And for some reason, she's under the impression that people are walking away from you. It, it's, it's like she doesn't want to see that it's her life people are walking away from. It's like, no, no, people are not walking away from me. People are walking away from the collective. People are walking away from him. People are walking away from her. They're not walking away from me. I have all these people that love me. Like, what? I feel like mirrors are breaking around her. Like, the mirror of her reality is breaking. It's a, a, a shatter. I just heard shattering glass falling on the floor. I can like, literally see mirrors breaking. Ten of Wands. Knight of Swords. We have a lot of action and change here. There's a lot of wands. I'm just realizing that there's wands. There's more wands. There's more action than logic out here. All right, somebody's, um, well, I feel like you're in the, you're taking action and you're, you know, gaining logic. Um, but this person, all they want to do, they just want to get away from all this burden. They just literally want to, Hop on this motorcycle and run away from their burdens. Uh, clarify battle. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person's really trying to be sneaky. They're really trying to be sneaky. Be careful because that's what this person's plan is, all right? Your intuition is literally yelling at you. Look at that crow. That crow is like yelling, right? This Your intuition is warning you, okay? This is like a warning. It's like your intuition's telling you, like, you know, be careful because this is what this plan's person is. Or this is what this person's plan is, all right? This is what they're... King of Cups reverse. Yeah, you're dealing with a narcissist, okay? They're obsessed. They're jealous. All right, they're codependent on your energy, your happiness. Like they they can't let it go. All right, they're in they're in Seven of Cups reverse. Their plan is very very it's it's twisted. All right. It's twisted. So, you need to be using your intuition. Also, the moon is being illuminated in this card. Now is the time to be using your intuition, especially around this person, because I'm telling you, um, they're going to get you to put your hands onto them. I've been assaulted. I've been assaulted. I'm pregnant uh, and, I, and I've been assaulted, right? Or I'm sick and I've been assaulted. Anyways, so I'm going to get a couple of these and then I'm going to call it. 43.33. 1233. Wow. Huh. We got the letter V. I feel like it's vindictive. This person's very vindictive, uh, but it could also be Oh, I'm, I don't know, Victor? Somebody's name could be Victor. But um, it could be somebody's first, last, middle, initial, uh, the name of a place, a word. All right. Um, you carry the light. They can't help but stalk you. They try to put contracts in your name. This is what I'm talking about. Whatever they made a deal with or whoever they're making a deal with, whoever they're working with, they're trying to unload those burdens and put them onto you. All right. We tried to set you up. So this is the reading. I hope you, um, you know, get some clarity, your guidance from this video. You know, if it helps you, give it a like. Um, you know, feel free to comment on this video as well. Um, if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, um, you know, you're more than welcome to do so. I would appreciate that. And if anybody needs a personal reading, just, um, you know, send me an email. All of that is in the description box of my video and in my about me section as well. 
Um, I might do a couple more videos later, but um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got to go. Bye.